All right, our next uh, chart in our interactive dashboard is going to be a waterfall chart. So what I'm going to do is click on the plus sign on the worksheet. I'm going to go ahead and rename this our purchase method waterfall. Okay, so what I want to do is uh, kind of plot a waterfall of the different uh, purchase methods and then show the grand total. So meaning the customer could have bought the product from you know, within a mobile app, through a store, physical store, or through a website. So what I'm going to do is click on insert again, click on pivot table. I'm going to choose again my variable, which is source underscore data. Click on OK. And now what I'm going to do is plot. Uh, now the, the purchase method, right, which is going to go under rows. So I'm going to drag the purchase method, whoops, purchase method inside rows. So I got my mobile app, my store or website, okay? And then I'm going to choose, again, uh, the revenue, but get a count again. So I'm going to drag the revenue into values, choose uh, this little drop down, value field settings, and choose count, and click on OK. All right, so now I get a count, very nice. Total is 1,000, uh, 351 purchased it through a store, all right, uh, website 322, and mobile app 327. Now, in order to do a waterfall, I'm going to do, use a little bit of a trick here. So what I'll do is I'll copy the row labels, control C, paste them here on cell D2, control V. Okay. And then I'm going to click on cell E2 and click on the equal sign and copy the actual formula from the pivot table. So that's the, the mobile app. I'm going to click on equals next to store, choose uh, the store value. Notice you get a formula in here. Get pivot data, revenue. That's the name of um, my source here. Um, purchase method and store, right? So I'm going to click enter. Uh, I'm going to choose again on a website equals and choose a website number here in the pivot table. And then I can also copy the grand total, control C, control V. And then within here, I'll copy again using the equal sign. Uh, the count of revenue on the grand tape uh, grand total in my pivot table click on enter all right now I'll select my data click on insert and you'll notice on the top right here in the icon you might have a different format of Excel but you'll see insert waterfall I'm going to choose waterfall here notice nice I get my waterfall here right uh, I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup I'm going to choose uh, notice uh, this series a grand total okay and uh, if you double click on it it'll show this little format data point I'm gonna choose set as total so you get a little waterfall here I'm gonna go ahead and close this okay and notice I get the full bar of my grand total which is a thousand and then the breakdown here uh, of what what the purchase method was right notice all these should add up to a thousand okay I'm gonna go ahead and choose my chart design Let's go ahead and choose this guy right here. Delete the chart title. Again, feel free to, you know, uh, design it, you know, with the right type that you choose, uh, that you like, right? Um, again, this is, you know, getting this done chart by chart and then putting the dashboard, you'll have plenty of room to customize and, uh, again, put in your own designs, right, and, and using your own data. So now I have my waterfall. I'm going to go ahead and remove this label here. Okay. So I get a, a nice, nice chart here, and we should be ready to utilize this within our dashboard. Hey guys, if you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. See you next time.